all you need is this. Largest road network in the world. Hey guys, my name is Praveen aka Neil and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how convenient is it to live in China. Is China really as convenient as people say it or is it just a hoax? Let's find out. To find out this, we need to look upon three of the most important topics. What are these three topics? First one is accommodation, second one is transportation and the third one is food. Actually food should be the first one but don't mind me here. So whenever you move to a new place, a new city or a new country, these are the most important things, three most important things that you would need. Isn't that right? So what are the ways of accommodation? It's probably apartments or hostels, PG or hotels, something like that. If you talk about apartments, I really don't think any other country can compare to China when it comes to building apartments. If you stand here anywhere and take a circle, just turn around, you will find so 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 many apartments everywhere because the population of China is really high. So China is developing at a crazy rate. More and more residential buildings are being built everywhere in China. In any city you go, either it's a big or a small city, wherever you go, you will find like many, many, many residential buildings. So guys, I think today there is a Chinese festival. I don't know the name of that festival, but there are some kind of celebration going on here. That dog was really cute. He was really impressed by the camera I was holding. So guys, I didn't just came here to show you this celebration. I actually came here to show you crazy tall apartments in China, right behind me. Everywhere, wherever you move your eyes, it's just apartments. And the interesting part is that if you live in one of these buildings, you will get all the necessary things like many food shops and supermarkets and even movie theater. Can you believe it? In past six or seven years, I have changed many apartments, but not even a single time I found difficult in finding apartments. So I personally think it's really convenient when it comes to accommodation. And for that, I'm gonna give 10 out of 10 to China. Okay guys, so now we will move on to our next topic which is transportation. China's transportation system has grown massively in past few years, be it road network, railway network or air network. If you talk about road network itself, it's the second largest road network in the world. High speed railway network in China is by far the longest rail network in the world. There is a lot of things to talk about China's high speed rail. I'm gonna make a separate video on that, so look forward to that. But we don't always take high speed train or flight. On a day to day life, you can either get an electric bike or if you want to use the public transport, you can also travel by bus. Here is a bus station. If you're traveling on bus, all you need is this. Just one RMB, Yi Kuai Chen. That's how cheap it is to travel on a bus in China. Just one RMB, only Yi Kuai Chen, and you can go to like long, long distance. I remember I used to travel to very long distances, about like 20, 25 kilometers for just one RMB. But sometimes traveling on bus can be a little too much, but no worries, I got you covered. Let's go and check out the subway or the metro system.
So the underground subway network in Zhengzhou is also very good. You can see like here are total eight lines of underground subway. Right now I am at this point, Pohalu. Uh, I'm at this subway station and from here if I want to go to any other place all the price system is also displayed here like if I want to go here it will just cost me 4 RMB the farthest one is like international airport from here it will just cost me 7 RMB and it's very very far this is an automatic chicken machine select the language here I selected English and I want to go to here and it will just cost me 3 RMB but I'm not going to take out the ticket because you know, Alipay has a system. Just scan the code and I can get inside. And that's how easy it is to travel by subway. Now let's talk about food. It doesn't matter wherever you are living in the city, you can find lots and lots of food stalls and food shops. Whichever part of the city you are living in, you will find lots and lots of food shops. So you won't have to go to any particular place to find any particular kind of food. Like you can see where I'm walking right now. This street is just beside my home. And here are many, many, many different kinds of food shops. You can see all that. It's really convenient when you have this kind of facility wherever you live. And you can see these boards, they are displaying whatever they are selling. Well, I'm hungry after watching all these food shops. So I'm going to eat something and show you guys what does a local restaurant look like. My friends usually ask me do you guys only eat noodles in China actually it's not true here are lots and lots of different kinds of food and noodle is one of them there are many different varieties of noodles but also many other other kinds of food in my upcoming videos I'm gonna show you all the different kinds of food that China has to offer oh, well. Well. All right guys, so I'm ending this video now. That's it for today's video and I will see you in the next one. Do let me know in the comment box that what kinds of topics do you want to see in my upcoming videos. And yeah, if you like the content of this video, please hit the like button below and also subscribe to my channel. And thank you, bye bye.